Hi fans, before the intro, I would like to give a big shout out to Critter's Guide. Check out Critter's Guide. Peace! Hi YouTube, Edward Tyndall here and Sarah Tyndall. And today we are going to be giving you a sugar glider care sheet for all you sugar glider lovers out there. And what are we doing today, Miss Beautiful Sarah Tyndall? Making an easy way to do uh there's different diets out there that you can do. I've wanted to do uh, <clears throat> kind of a yogurt thing that you can instantly do for their Dinner at night time, which I do frozen vegetables, the mixed vegetables. Is that what you have in there? I have blueberries. Where'd them blueberries come from? We picked them and defrosted them. I put them aside and let them sit. I've got two sets a ice set trays. of ice trays to put the stuff in. I've got applesauce. It is, that is luck leaf applesauce, naturally fat free. Then I've got honey. Honey, straight out my hive. Out of the hive. This one is a little bit crystal crystallized, but it don't matter. And then we've got original vanilla, vanilla. naturally and artificially flavored. And then we've got oatmeal. Quaker oats oatmeal. And then I've used the calcium because they have to have calcium. Red cow, phosphorus free, calcium vitamin D3. Oh, and also, what do we have in here? Then we're, we're they boiled. have to have protein and the stuff so I put quail eggs and then I might quail do eggs. like a boil a chicken oh, and what do we have here mango and an apple what kind of apple uh honey crisp honey crisp honey crisp apple it wow smelled good and I try to keep it all stuff that I would eat yeah uh, if it's not good enough for us we damn sure ain't feeding it to our gliders and snakes and I shit. boil the <laughs> quail eggs and then I take them from there and I but just... This battery that I charged all night is flashing red. I know y'all got to be sick of hearing that shit. <laughs> I take the thing, yes, we, peel it. These are awesome for human food too. You can eat them raw or cooked. Oh my god, they're good. Either way, really. Just peel it, get it all peeled. I got three done ahead if you want to show them how good it is. This right here? Yep. The three peeled eggs? Yep. Yep. They look good. I'm fixing to have to change out and get the other batteries while Sarah continues to mix all this stuff together. Um, how exactly are you going to be mixing this together? I mix them in a bowl with the oatmeal. The oatmeal. The yogurt. The yogurt. The applesauce. The, applesauce, the honey. The honey. The calcium. The cal. About how much reptical would you put in a bowl this size? This uh, is a month uh, supply, right? This is a 30 day supply for, I want to say one. 30 day supply for one sugar glider? You can do one or two. One or two, probably. And then we also put have, them in the ice cube things and then put them in the freezer. Yes, and we will show you how Freddie likes them after a while in the second part of this video. Um, she's just going to add all the ingredients together, but y'all see pretty much what we need. Um, and you can mix it up a little bit. This is just how we do it. This is not no set way. But uh, sugar gliders like all that stuff. And that gives a variety that you don't have to mix up something every single day. And it will work for a month. What is this? You forgot this. What is this? And then I also put glider aid. Glider aid. A little bit of it in there for him. And how much in a bowl about this size? About a tablespoon. A tablespoon of glider aid in a bowl this size. So that's really jam packed full of all kinds of nutritious antioxidants. Shit, we can eat this our own self, people. Um, I try to keep it. <clears throat> I can eat it. My glider can eat it. Yes, gliders will live a very long, healthy life. I'm sure most people don't feed them all this nutritious of stuff. But um, morning time, I give him pellets. We'll show Evening that times, part. I give him this for his diet. I give him a little bit extra, like fresh fruits and stuff like that too. That's just not all dinner time for him. Is this? How much honey do you put in a bowl this size? About a tablespoon. Okay, a tablespoon of Edward's Badass MVP honey. Um, about half, 
half one a one and a half a cups of one and a half cups of applesauce applesauce how much yogurt about one and a half cups one and a half cups, cups of yogurt and mix then you it cut up all this stuff cut up all this mango. stuff how mix it up that's to thicken it up you don't want it too thin you want it a little bit thick. how much about Just do it until it's thick until it's thick use half a cup at a time half a cup at a time and uh do you get a good consistency i'll oh, we'll continue recording once you get this done and we're filling the ice trays um sorry people but gotta make a long story short you know peace and love stay tuned wow that's a good smelling mango yummy Mm, 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 mm. Okay, we are back. This is what it looks like as of now. You We've got put the yogurt, the honey, applesauce, applesauce, eggs, eggs, apple, apple, mango, mango, blueberry, blueberry, vegetable, and, and frozen. Now we're going to do. You got the Gatorade. That's already in here. Okay. With the calcium, the gator. Oh yeah, the calcium and the gliderate, okay. You got a tablespoon of each of those in there. Alright, we're gonna add oat milk to thicken it up a little bit. And this will give y'all a month's supply of really nutritious food for your gliders. They need a lot of <clears throat> fruits and vegetables in their diet to make them healthy. Remember twelve years twelve years ago they were imported from Australia and now we're starting to get like the different colors like um, the platinum blonde, sandal gray, Lysistic, the piebalds, um, caramel, caramels and there's a lot more. Um, this is what I freed my Freddy. He's starting to become a little bit more lovable with everything and he's getting a lot more spoiled. Yep, you just keep adding oatmeal until you get it to the thickness consistency that you want. Which you're um, almost out, right? Yeah. Sometimes you can blend this up if they like that, but I wouldn't. my Freddy likes to eat the <clears throat> that smells absolutely delicious. It's like, oh my god. And Tuna keeps wanting it. <laughs> Bumble Bay Tuna. Bumble Bay Tuna. Um, if you do give them like. Right, we're going to ice tray these now. If you do go out deer hunting and you do have them, sugar gliders, um, freeze them. Freeze the meat for two weeks and you can give it to them raw. So you. It's a sugar glider eat deer meat world? Is that what you're saying? Yep. Wow. Um, and I'm also going to give y'all an in-depth care sheet uh, here in a minute. All the vast amount of knowledge I that we have gathered on I just do about like that much <clears throat> in each one. Yeah, and that's for one or two sugar gliders for a month, depending on. Because we do have a little bit to throw away from Freddy. Not very much. Um. Sometimes. I give it also to the rats and hamsters yes rats and hamsters love it there will be nothing left i kind of ran out of my 30 day supply because i spoiled them more yes but that was because they were all having babies the rats wore and this does take a little bit of time but if you love your animals people this is the way to show it <clears throat> through their nutrition if you do send them off to people's houses you can do this before give them to the people yeah give them a frozen bag of food and says here feed them one of these a day and give them the pellets you know, I'll, we'll get to that when we go in there so this is this is a main staple you can give this to them and probably nothing else but we have other stuff and we'll go in detail with that when we go and show you our lovely Ready. Freddy the turning out to be sweet boy. Yeah, he used to be the badass. The ninja the one boy. The ninja wanted to kill everything, throwing hands up in there. He's being pretty good now, so I'm gonna cut here just so y'all see what it looks like, and we'll show you the frozen stuff, and I will um, give y'all an in-depth care sheet just like all the other videos while Sarah is showing you the magical, wonderful things of Freddy. Stay tuned. 
right, people. Now we are with Freddy. Hey, Freddy. Hey, hey baby. Buddy. Say hey to your fans. Let me, let me see. Hey, Freddy. Mama got you stuff. Stuff and stuff. Hey, baby. All right, based on all the research that we've done and um, we're going to give you all this is some of the stuff that's not frozen. We're going to give it to Freddy. Let's see if he likes it. Does Freddy like that stuff? Look at that tongue go. Yes. So I'm going to read this stuff to y'all and you can decide, but based on everything we've learned, we do things a little bit different, but pretty much stay within the guidelines of what people know about these animals that have not been kept for very much longer than 15 years, I don't believe. Okay, here we go. Now that you've decided on a sugar glider as your pet, you should have all the supplies necessary before bringing him home. A safe and enjoyable home will help you have a happy and healthy sugar glider. This care sheet will guide you in having everything you need. Habitat. A properly. I'm not holding that right because you moved. I can't read and hold this. You're going to have to be able to stay still. Hold on, people. You got to bear with us. We got one cameraman and one movie redhead. All right. Be still right there. Habitat, a properly ventilated cage, no smaller than 20 by 20 by 30, which we got that covered with his cage. Gliders prefer tall cages and always get the biggest cage possible. Bird cages make excellent glider homes. A nesting box for sleeping, a cloth pouch birdhouse or hamster house work well. Bedding made of shredded plain paper, recycled paper bedding, or wood shavings, primarily to collect waste at the bottom of the cage. Heavy flat bottom dishes or bowls that attach to the side of the cage for food. We use newspaper on ours, and it works really well because it's free. Um, at newspaper places, I also use that for my snakes. Um, where's Freddy at? Right here. He eating, what did he do? Take something in there with him? No, he went in there, got his okay. belly full. Heavy flat bottom dish or stoppered drinking bottle for water, as we have right here, you can see. Um, climbing branches, sugar gliders love to climb. We have a plum tree limb off of my plum, I mean my pear tree outside, and he chews on that too. Bird toys, perches, ladders, a hard bone for chewing, um, tubing for hiding or exploring. It's always good to have items that keep your pet entertained. It also goes for monkeys. Those y'all have monkeys, the same thing. Um, food and supplements. Fresh fruits and vegetables. A source of protein. Where am I at? Hold on. A source of protein like cooked meat cut into small pieces. Tofu, cottage cheese, or yogurt. Live insects like millworms and crickets as well as raw unsalted nuts. That can be given as treats. And I say again, unsalted. A multivitamin and calcium with D3 supplement. They, there are reptile supplements that work well for sugar gliders. As we showed y'all earlier. And there, now based on that information that we're given, y'all can get a pretty good idea how it is. Hey, Freddy. Hey, Freddy. And another thing we learned, they used to bite the hell out of us. So you bend your knuckle like this when you're going in on them and let them bite that knuckle. Because if you mash your knuckle hard, they can bite and bite and bite, but can't get their teeth around you to bleed you. And eventually... And don't back up or jerk, because when they jerk, it lets them know that you're scared of them. And uh, they will uh, just stop. And then eventually you can just We've got a um, like chain right here that yeah. he plays in. Yeah, he takes this chain and drags it all the way in that pouch that he sleeps in up there and tries to hoard stuff. We have a, a McDonald's ball pit. Better. A McDonald's ball pit. Yeah, he's got a ball pit down here. He's got a little different, two different cage sets we got in there, but it's not all there right now. He's got a running wheel, but we recommend getting a better running wheel than that because he'll haul ass in this and it gets spinning around and it'll throw him out, throw him out. So you need a little bit bigger one. Um, we've got little toys and knickknacks in here that he goes in there and he'll yep. put it in here. Yep, he's a hoarder. He likes to hoard things. So if you guys got different things, make <clears throat> sure you guys got pouches. Oh yes, uh, other wrapped. thing. I'm not going to cut you off, but we give him this. We keep this down for him all the time. As you see that peanut butter jar lid, we fill it with Exotic Nutrition Glider Complete High Protein Diet for Pet Sugar Gliders. This is the only food that they re require and nothing else. 
but it's better to give them the other stuff. So we have that as an option. Make sure to give them monkey biscuits. Monkey biscuits, orange flavor. That is for, uh, that's also from Exotic Nutrition. Shout out to Exotic Nutrition. They're really good people. They work with you well. And what do we got up here? Oh, more monkey biscuits. All right. That's, uh, He's that pretty much wraps up everything except what Sarah wants to say. Sugar cane that he oh, can yeah. chew on. Forgot about that. We just planted some new sugar cane. And, He's uh, got he a rope. It. He's got the chains. And if you don't feel bad if he doesn't play with them in time, they will. Yes. I put it up like this, but you want to change the cage up a little bit so they don't get bored. When they get bored, they start pulling the hair out. And they start getting sick. Make sure you keep an eye on them because they do keep... If they're sick, they hide it from you really, really good, and then they can end up dying. So, if you don't want it done to you, don't do it to them. Yes. Make sure you don't get ropes and stuff. Make sure you get something with plastic. The ropes end up... What, is, what is this material? That's a fleece stuff. So, a lot of fleece you want to use for this stuff. Um, yeah, fleece pouches. This is Freddy's, one of his favorite hiding spots that he likes to hide in. Yeah, because he can drag stuff in here. There is nothing in here now, but you never know what you're going to find in there. Whether it be um, little pieces of chain or a ball sure pit. Make sure that stuff. you guys keep a lot of stuff up, like wild mice and rats can kill your sugar gliders. So make sure the cages are safe. Yeah, safe so rats and mice and stuff can't get in there and bother your sugar gliders if you have wild rats and mice. We do not, fortunately. Hallelujah uh, and glory to Kim Kardashian for that you one. You always want to keep track. <laughs> we just got a new thing today. Oh, yeah. Um, for travel purposes. This is an awesome, oh, an awesome thing. Did this come from um, that same place? Pets. Oh, this came from Exotic Nutrition as well. So. Yes, it's got a little pouch here. He can go in here. This is a travel cage that you can easily walk into any hotel room and without having to worry about putting your glider in your pocket. And nobody will probably say anything. You'll probably even get away with. I um, take mine everywhere. I take it into Walmart, yep. to the doctor appointments, anywhere if I go far away, yes. I take him with me. He has to stay with you if you only um, got one. It's best to do two gliders than one. <clears throat> right now I'm bonding with this one yes. before I go and get another one. Oh yeah, we've been looking for another one though, so uh, if any of y'all out there have any recommendations or want to donate a female glider or a neutered male, let us know. I just... If Freddie could use a pet friend. He needs a companion. Yeah, a companion. If you don't have more than one, what will happen is they start um, making themselves bald. Freddie has already, that's why I don't leave him alone. I think this is more of a uh, thing this on his head here is what it's like uh men a dominance thing when you don't neuter them they get uh they get so much testosterone they just go bald on the top of their head a little bit not a scent gland on them yeah it's a scent gland we don't fully understand them yet but we're working on it it's a work in progress and we hope you enjoyed this and this has been an informative video y'all can also check out my other video I don't have a link put on here, but maybe Sarah can fix that when she edits this to the other video. We went and got stuff yeah. like these. Yeah, that way clamps. we can. Yeah, maybe it, it. maybe Sarah will add a link to that video in there if you know how to do that. I'll yet. work on it. And y'all can see the uh, DIY ultimate sugar glider cage um, thing, how to build that, and uh, some other video. Check out some of my other videos too. That's good. Alright, so like, subscribe, tell your friends, peace, love, and happiness, and all that good shit. Watch my older videos while you wait on new ones. <laughs> what, they love to hear it. I know. <laughs> Stay tuned, watch more videos of ours. Yeah, leave in the comments if you love to hear the ending sequence. Badass. <laughs>